Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives is the one show that ought to be packed to the gills with Halloween horror. Ultimately, it takes place in the well-known town of Salem. To be honest, the shocks and scares in the show have not let me down over the years. But this time, the terror is becoming even more tangible. It could be happening to a beloved character, a dramatic and horrifying final. The foundation of it will be a rather dark alliance. To learn everything there is to know about it, continue reading. Days of Our Lives viewers have been bearing the brunt of the Demira family feud on EJ and Stefan's shoulders for some time now. It's not that they can't be nice to one another. It's just that they choose not to. In the past, E.G. defended Stefan when Megan was really determined to get rid of him. The two brothers banded together to take on Megan. But the times of unity are once more in the past. The Demira conflict is set to reach a new and extreme level, according to the most recent spoilers. Recently, Kristen's shares on Days of Our Lives were taken by Stefan and Gabby through their shady machinations. They have also managed to get Peter's vote, putting E.J. in danger in essence. He declares himself as good as dead if Stefan and Gabby receive even one more vote for themselves. Will E.J., though, really allow things to go so badly against him? Though he'd avoided witnessing Megan kill Stefan in silence, would he now choose the same course after being forced up against the wall? Days of Our Lives spoilers hint that EJ and Lai are going to team up in an attempt to bring Stefan and Gabby down on the show. Although the two of them aren't exactly pals, Stefan now appears to be EJ and Lai's greater enemy. Furthermore, as Dan Fierival, EJ, said to Soaps.com, your friend is your enemy's enemy. Thus, despite their lack of mutual confidence, they are prepared to cooperate in order to achieve their shared objective, which is to neutralize Stefan. Lai wants him out of Gaby's life, but E.G. wants him out of the Demera company. Will Lee and E.G.'s partnership, though, provide them with what they want? Or, like in Days of Our Lives, will it explode up spectacularly in their faces? especially considering that Lee's mental stability is essentially in jeopardy. Additionally, EJ is only trying to keep himself together for Nicole and the child. The child that he does not yet. No, is Eric's. Honestly, it seems like everything is leading up to a real nightmare right now. Furthermore, keep in mind that Gabby is about to leave DOL. But wait, spoilers hint that Lai might wind up on the ground with a knife stuck in his back. So brace yourselves for an exhilarating trip this Halloween that will undoubtedly result in murder and bloodshed. Rafe's dating life on Days of Our Lives has been extremely colorful. He had a lot of romantic relationships over the years, but none of them really worked out as a long-term partnership. They did, however, give him a trout as a devoted stepfather to numerous stepchildren, which in turn stoked his urge to start his own family. With his life partner, watching a movie as their kids ran around them. All the bells and whistles, you know. Sadly, until recently, that yearning had remained dormant in a back drawer. The phrase, until now, is key. Yes, everything is going to change due to an unexpected pregnancy. Will it, however, proceed as Rafe has always imagined? Let's investigate. A significant tease about what might be on the horizon was revealed in the most recent preview video for Days of Our Lives. Jada is seen in the brief video approaching Rafe, but she seems unsteady. Maybe rescuing her from falling, Rafe catches her. Jada has been in excellent health as of late. Therefore, if a sudden fainting spell is related to health, it feels strange. There hasn't even been any preparation for that. She hasn't been doing anything unusual that would put her under such extreme physical stress. What else, therefore, gives soaps these episodes of fainting? Well. Obviously, pregnancies, or at the very least, fears them. So is Jada on Days of Our Lives pregnant. Considering that she has initiated a serious connection with Rafe, it is undoubtedly plausible. We don't see how that can't be the case because the two of them have had intimate relationships. However, if she is indeed pregnant, 
This raises a very important and consequential concern. Can she hold on to it? It won't be the first time if Jada's pregnancy test turns out to be positive. Regular fans of Days of Our Lives would recall that Jada became pregnant with Eric's child not too long ago. It was also an unintentional pregnancy. However, Jada decided to end it. Even though Eric had always wanted to have a child of his own. Despite this, Jada decided to terminate the pregnancy since, at that time in her life, she was not ready to have a child. Could things be any different this time, though? On Days of Our Lives, Jada and Rafi are deeply in love. She really is smitten with him. This is hardly surprising given the two have been harboring feelings for one another for years. Will love, nevertheless, be sufficient to convince Jada to make a different choice this time? Because this pregnancy will also be unplanned and accidental, just like the last one. She will almost definitely be plagued with doubts about what course of action to take. Can Rafe persuade her to start a family with him? How do you feel? Comment with what you know. Updates and teasers for Days of Our Lives hint that E.J. Demira will land a new job. Will E.J. become the new Salem DA now that Melinda Trask has withdrawn from the race? Melinda made a grave mistake when she decided to date Lei Shin, a man she had tried to prosecute. Paulina Price, the interim mayor at the time, fired her because the two of them had secretly videotaped one other and were essentially spying on each other for their personal purposes. There hasn't been a district attorney in Salem for a few months, and as a result, court matters are backlogged. The crime rate in Salem is rising, and the assistant district attorney isn't doing a very good job. As quickly as possible, Paulina has to recruit a capable district attorney to take over. E.J. has held public office as a former mayor of Salem. Thus he does have legal expertise, albeit not as a district attorney. Although Paulina has the authority to appoint someone to the district attorney position to serve out Trask's term, the courts will delay years if the position is not filled. Paulina is not happy that she has to hire a demera because there isn't anyone else available. But when the term ends, he will be up for election like any other public position. Del Brady has left town and has very few options, and Sloan Peterson is completely out of the question despite the fact that he has been accused of a number of crimes but has never been found guilty, she hopes that he has some redeeming qualities from his mother's side. E.J. is a little taken aback when asked to accept an appointment to complete Trask's term, and he will need to review his legal literature. Though he still holds his law license, he hasn't practiced for a while and is unsure if he can continue to lead Demira and serve as the district attorney simultaneously. He doesn't see any conflicts of interest, but he would be overcommitting himself. Out of the Demira family, whom would he trust to manage the family legacy? EJ accepts Polina's offer and gets ready to catch up on the cases he'll need to prosecute, even though it will be a lot to manage. After literally years of Trask, who has made it her mission to arrest half of his family, Salem is ready for a new district attorney. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.